In this video, we'll explore the Xamarin Android toolchain and we'll see how it leverages the Android and Java SDKs. Now behind the scenes, Xamarin Android uses many of the native Android tools and libraries alongside the mono libraries. So this includes the Java SDK, the Android SDK, and a version of the mono.net libraries for Xamarin Android. Now you must have the Java JDK installed to compile Xamarin Android applications. The native Java apps are built using the tools and libraries from the Java SDK, but for Android applications, some of the Java development tools are also used in the build process. And this is true both for Android applications written in Java and Xamarin Android apps. Now, probably not surprisingly, we also need the Android SDK to create Android applications. Now the Android Software Development Kit, or SDK, contains quite a few things that you need for native Android development. And this includes Android-specific versions of the Java libraries. So these contain utility types for common tasks like string handling, networking, data structures, etc., as well as the Android libraries. So these let you access Android services to do things like place a phone call, access location data, you know, start an activity, these kinds of things. And of course, all of these are usable in Xamarin Android. And it also contains a wide range of tools to support both build and runtime. Now, if you were writing an Android application in Java, your code would be compiled into Java bytecode by the standard Java compiler included in the JDK. And then that Java bytecode is translated into Android's proprietary bytecode format called Dalvit bytecode. And this is stored in DEX or DEX files. Now those DEX files are then run by the Android Java runtime engine known as the Android runtime or ART. And ART translates the bytecode into native code when the app is installed. And each app runs in its own process and gets its own copy of ART. And this keeps apps isolated from each other and improves security. Android apps are combined into a single file for deployment to a device. And the file is called an application package and has a .apk extension. And it's really just a zip file that contains all of your app's assets, including your executable code in DEX bytecode format, you know, your layout files, which are now in a binary format, and all of your non-code assets like images. For Xamarin Android developers, we get an additional set of mono tools and libraries. And the Mono project is an open source implementation of Microsoft's .NET framework. And Mono has the core pieces needed to build .NET applications. This includes the base class library. This contains familiar utility classes on the .NET side for things like string handling, networking, data structures. And as C-sharp developers, we typically use these instead of the Java implementations provided with the Android SDK. It also includes the C-sharp compiler, and the Mono Runtime Execution Engine. Now the C-sharp source code in our Xamarin Android applications is compiled into an intermediate language, or IL, and is packaged into an assembly. And this intermediate language has its own code execution engine known as the Mono Runtime. Now the IL is just-in-time or JIT compiled on the device at runtime, and this is how we're able to use all the amazing features of .NET in our Android projects. This includes things like the garbage collector, the thread pool, and exception handlers. Now the Xamarin Android build tools automatically include the Mono runtime in your APK, along with your assemblies, the Mono assemblies, your application resources, and any native DEX files. Now of course, we're not including Java code here, the native DEX files might include external references that you brought into your application, such as the Android support libraries or the Google Play libraries, which are written in Java and pre-compiled to Dalvit bytecode. And all of these are combined into a single APK file ready to be deployed to a device or to the App Store. And here's the overview of a Xamarin Android application running on a device. The mono runtime is part of your application's process and it's used to JIT compile and execute that IL generated from your C-sharp code. And we often refer to this as the managed code, as it's managed by the Mono runtime. The Android runtime, or ART, is also part of your application's process, and it executes the native Java code. And both of these interact directly with the underlying Linux kernel. And this means that the Mono runtime and ART run side by side in your app's process. 
Now, generally, you don't need to know all the details about how this happens. However, developers often find this interesting. They like to see how things work under the hood, and it sets the foundation when needing to understand how the managed c -sharp code interacts with the native Android runtime. Thank you.